Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to, I guess this will be part two of our, my, our modded beginnings tinkers stuff. Yeah, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. I had said that I would come back in here and do this. Uh, I don't expect this to be a huge episode, uh, but we want to, I want to I forgot to get into the bows and the shurikens and stuff like that. Uh, one other thing um, I had forgotten to mention. One thing that has changed from 1.7 to the 1.12. Uh, there is no longer um, a tinker's house inside of uh, the villages uh, I've been to several different ones uh, not just in here but in uh, radio craft reloaded uh, and I have yet to find one that has any of the tinker stuff in it I've yet to see the smeltery it's fixing to be nighttime we can fix that now this is a different a different village this is this is actually additions. Ah. Ah. I had not come across those. Of course, I haven't gone out exploring in this pack yet. So, but I do know that, yeah, there's no longer a uh, Tinker's. Let's change just the day. There's no longer a Tinker's uh, house in here or the smeltery. Which does kind of suck. Now, I done forgot. Oh, I guess we can follow the death marker home. So, but we're going to be taking a look at the shurikens, the bows, stuff like that. Um, so, in Tinkers, you've got bows. I have no idea why that's on there like that. We have couple different bows we have the short bow we have a long bow and we have a crossbow now long bow short bow I have not ever used before and from the looks of it the only difference is Looks like the short bows have shorter draw speeds. And it doesn't look, looks like the, the attack's the same. On, I'm looking at, trying to find, you know, look at the same kind of bows. Like there's, uh, looking at a silver short bow and a silver long bow. Um, I don't have it set up to where I can get that stuff. So, anywho. Why is it not letting me um, do, do, do toggle game mode survival creative here we go all right um So with these bows, we want, where's the silver at? And we're going to need some arrows. We'll just use some of those. Oh, that's got a lot closer draw range to it also. Like I said, I've never used these bows before, but I know a little bit about them. <clears throat> now, I can tell you this. If you want to, uh, well, let's start with this. As far as parts wise, you're going to need for the short bow, you need bow limbs and a bow string. Long bows are two bow limbs, a, well, right here it says, it's a powerful long range weapon. Provides high damage but less mobile. I don't know exactly what that means. Me personally, I like 
shorter draw speeds. But anyways, uh, but with the plate, uh, crossbow we'll get into into in in a, uh, in a minute. Now, to make it, the arrows you need a arrow head, an arrow shaft, and a arrow fletching. Now, there are several different ways to do this. I need the Tinker's book. Where is our book at? Uh, materials and you. There it is. So, Bo, we want to look at arrow shafts first. These are made, I do believe, inside of here. Arrow shaft, not in there, but in the tools, the part builder. Let's get some bone. We'll make them out of bone. So there is your, how you make your shafts. Now, I don't think you can actually make shafts out of any other materials as of right now. Um, but if you look. Uh, they do give you um, a rundown of what it does. Um, if you make it out of wood, uh, you get one modifier, uh, and they, you get the ecological that allows you to regenerate. Bone um, does, you know, well, uh, you might actually get two for one. I didn't know that. That's actually pretty neat. Uh, you get an extra five ammo for making it out of it uh, but you don't get a full modifier all right uh, blaze rod has hovering makes it move uh, all right it looks like it will allow you to shoot farther but it doesn't travel as fast uh, making them out of sugar cane not necessarily very good they have a 50 percent chance to break um, ice will slow your opponent down and end rods are actually pretty cool um, they have basically when you shoot an arrow with it it will instantly go from here to there you don't have the whole travel um, now as far as modifiers on these work the same as what they do with the rest of the tools um, as far as your unbreaking your repair um, knockback is with uh, pistons um, you can add sharpness um, I forget what fire aspect is um, let's see here fiery uh, blaze rod um, but that has to be the, the thing to remember with bows when you're working on damage. As far as bow wise goes, usually there's only a couple things that you want to do to this. One is add mending uh, to, keep, to repair it, or two, you could make it reinforced. Now, you can also add redstone to it, and what redstone does is makes it to where, let's get a little bit of redstone here. put that in there let's put some redstone on it and basically what it does is it makes it to where your draw speed is a little bit quicker and you can get it down I think it goes it, the, the quickest you can get it is like a point two two five something like that I'm not don't remember the exact the exact amount but as far as any kind of damage you are wanting to do to any kind of mob uh, putting anything on the bow really doesn't matter uh, the only thing it matters is like if you put sharpness on it you won't get the extra attack damage from shooting the mob you've actually got to walk up and hit the mob all your attack damage stuff you want to put onto the arrow the arrow is where where all the damage takes place um, of course we talked about the bow limbs or the the arrow shaft 
far as bowstring goes. You can use string and slime vines. Now, I think there are some mods. I don't know if you can use the fiery string yet. Um, and then there are like mana string stuff like that. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what other um, uh, 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 other way to do it. But each one of them actually gives you a uh, modifier. They don't change. Uh, I don't think there's any difference as far as yeah there's no you know no change as far as draw speeds or anything like that. All the bow strings are pretty much the exact same. They just look a little different. Now the crossbow. Crossbows are actually nice. I, I, I've used crossbows quite a bit. Crossbows are made in the forge. You need one bow limb, a tough binding, a tough rod, and a bow string. Now these have a lot more damage to them. Bow materials doesn't have anything in there. We click on this. It's slow. Um, wait, what's that say? Okay, um, they are slower to uh, to fire. But at the same time, you get a lot more damage. Where our silver longbow and our silver bow has four and a half damage. If we find the silver, where's that? Where yet? Silver crossbow. It has an attack damage of five. Um, the draw speed on this is actually not too bad. It's one point eight eight. Um, same thing with these. These. Uh, the crossbows, of course, we don't have any. Oh, well, no, you can load it. We don't have anything to shoot with it. I don't know why it's shooting those, because you can't use those kind of arrows. Um, Electrum, the Electrum bows I love. I don't know if we're going to get it. There it goes. You can actually run around a little bit and it charges it up and it actually gives it a little bit more damage. Is that actually using the... Wow, I was not aware that you could use those arrows with it. I have never knew that. Or maybe it's just because we're in creative. Wait, let's try that. Toggle game over on survival. Yeah, it's just because we were in creative mode. Now it won't let me let me do it. So, same thing with the crossbow that applies to the short bows as far as uh, modifiers. Uh, unbreaking, mending, um, and... Uh, yeah, unbreaking, mending, and redstone for haste. Those are your modifiers really of choice that you want to use with it. Any damage with it occurs from actually meleeing with it. Now, bolts. Bolts are made a little bit different. These are, uh, you need a bolt core and you need fletching. Now, the bolt cores are actually made in the smeltery. Uh, let's see here. Let's get... Uh, it's, oh yeah, stencil table. There should be. Thank you. Take yeah. Take an arrow shaft. I'm trying to remember how to do this. No, excuse me. It's just a tool rod. Take a tool rod. Let's let, let, let's let's check and make sure this is right before I do this. We got lava in there. We don't need lava. What do we have in here? We don't have anything. Let's break this. We need a tinker's table. Tinker's table. Beautiful. We need a tool rod cast. We want... Oh, I don't know. We don't want that. Let's get some iron. Something that we can run through 
our smeltery here. And for the sake of video purposes, that's not going to work. We don't have any power in this. Let's let that smelt up. Oh, wait. It'd probably help if we put it in the right one. Ah, it's done anyways. All right. So we put that in there. And if I'm not mistaken, we place that back down. Oh, wait. Maybe we can't make it out of that. Hmm. How do you do the bolts now? Alright, let's try this. Let's take that up. Get rid of that. Where is our... We don't have it anymore. Let's make another arrow shaft. Ah, okay. And we don't have enough iron in there. And we can't get any power out of that. So basically you choose, I guess, what arrow shaft that you want. Days go by too fast around here. Choose the arrow shaft that you want to use. Tip it with what you want. And basically the tipping is what gives it its attack damage. It's what gives it its durability and its ammo. Um, as you can see, most of these don't really have a whole, they got some durability, but there's not a whole lot of ammo. We're going to make this up. That's ready to go. And this will turn from a bone shaft into a bone and iron bolt core. Now, as far as what you use for fletching. Fletching can be used slime leaf, uh, regular leaf, and feathers. Feathers are really your best bet to go with. Nothing changes. You get more modifiers, more of a chance of getting extra modifiers with the leaves. But as you can see, the accuracy uh, drops way down. So you take... What we want bolt you can put our your bolt core in there <clears throat> uh let's get some feathers out of here uh we don't know how many we'll need feathers are made inside of your part builder here stencil table there should be one for fletching and put the feathers in there it takes two to make it and boom we've got our bolt now as you can see it's only got 18 ammo now these can be uh, you can add mending to this you can add unbreakable to it to get more mod or to get more um, to get more ammo uh, well, you can add unbreaking to it. The ammo will last longer, and with mending, it'll refill itself. So, when creating these, it's a matter of... It does do a combined total attack damage. Um, I do believe with the crossbow and the bolt, or with the bow and the bolt, um, is kind of what the final one does. Uh, but for the most part, it really does go by what arrows that you have. So, with that, we've got one more to go. Shurikens. Shurikens are, to me now, by far the best thing to use in making anything uh, as far as projectile weapons. Shurikens are made 
with the knife blade pattern and they are made inside of the uh, tool forge. Uh, four knife blades will give you shrieking. Now, shriekings, you can see they're fast, they're short range, but they do low damage. Now, the nice thing about the shriekings, though, let's grab one, is you can rapid fire. And that's what I love. And they do have a... Uh, let's find something to shoot here. There's nothing around here to shoot. Here we go. They do have a slight knockback effect to them. Which is nice. Now, these you can add... Um, Sharpness to them will give it more damage. You can add mending to it and uh, you can add unbreakable to it These will just slowly disappear um, You can add mending to it. You can add unbreakable I usually make these as unbreakable and then go back and change the parts out for a material that has pretty good attack damage um, And then I just you know, you can just spam click away with the crossbows not being having the draw speeds that they used to to me this is the way to go so that is I mean there's there's not really that much to these um, it, it, it's pretty much the same as as the rest of the tinkers tools it's finding what works for you and what you want to do do you want to be able to you know have a lot of power do you want it to be able to reload faster you know that kind of stuff you can put looting on the bolts and get you know looting I don't know if looting works on the bows and if you put it on there I'm not a hundred percent sure on that um, but like I said my preference of choice now has been the shurikens um, I don't know I don't think there's anything else as far as what is left with tinkers I don't think uh, oh one thing I didn't know I didn't show you um, if if you need slime balls early game you don't have a slime island nearby and you don't have um, and you need to make a sticky piston or you need some slime balls you can actually hop inside of your smelter um, or you can put you know an animal you can make this dark it'll spawn mobs inside of it um, but if we switch our game mode here you can see we're taking damage there is now blood inside of our smeltery you take that blood in an empty tinkers table of course we don't have enough in there but it will actually give you this coagulated blood which you can in turn use as a sticky piston or not a sticky piston but as a slime ball so it is fairly nice it is a easy way of getting slime balls without having to be able to go and get slimes we need daytime so but with that I think that's pretty much ever these things too depending on what you hit have different sounds to them I don't know if the bows do that or not let's grab a bow we don't have a bolt let's grab a bolt Why is that not? Oh, it's got a really long draw speed. No, it sounds like it's... Yeah, it's pretty much the same.
might be a slight difference i'm not sure so anyways that is all for this next bit of we hold that a weird way you really hold that a weird way uh next well it's even worse when you hold it okay if you say so um our next bit of modded beginnings is going to cover extra utilities matter of fact once i am done here i am probably going to start setting it up it's all going to be done in the same world we're just going to move off to another little section here and and take care of that so with that i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode like I said, it's probably a little bit shorter. We didn't have as much to cover as we did last time. I should have put it in it. And if I had remembered it, I would have put it in it. Uh, but I forgot. Like I said, this is this is a new series for me. Doing tutorials is new for me. Uh, what I do, period, with a Let's Play is kind of more or less a tutorial. But it's, it's a little bit different. So, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.